Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We continue our free piping education videos in this channel. Before starting this video please subscribe to our education YouTube channel to watch more piping engineering videos. You can also benefit from some private benefits by membership to our channel. In this video we will show you step by step how to calculate the weight of the carbon steel pipes with easy method. Let's start our education video. The formula for finding the weight of the pipe is as follows. Weight equals volume multiply the density of the material of the pipe. In this formula, the density of the material is taken from the density chart of the materials. We have to calculate the volume ourselves. For calculate the volume we will use this formula. The volume is equals P multiply, in brackets the squared of outside diameter minus the squared inside diameter, divided by 4, multiply length of pipe. This formula belong for all pipe sizes. We will be explaining the calculations in this video on a 10-inch and 16-inch pipe examples. Let's calculate the weight of a 10-inch pipe with a thickness of 80 schedule and a length of 2 meters. To estimating the volume of the pipe piece, let's look at the wall thickness of a 10-inch schedule 80 pipe from the steel pipe dimension chart. This is the steel pipe dimension chart. The nominal pipe size is shown in the first column. The outside diameter of pipes is shown in the seconda column. The nominal wall thickness schedule is shown in this last column. We will look row shown nominal pipe size 10 inch. The outside diameter of the 10 inch pipe is shown approximately 273 mm and wall thickness 80 schedule is shown as 15.09 mm. Now we can calculate inside diameter of the this 10 inch pipe. The inside diameter will be equals the outside diameter 273 minus 2 times wall thickness 15.09. Using the calculator, we find that the 273 minus 2 times 15.09 will be equals approximately 243. So, we calculated and found that the inside diameter of the 10 inch schedule 80 pipe in our example will be equals 243 millimeters. These dimensions should be converted to meters, because in the density charts of ferrous metals they use meters. Then, outside diameter of 10 inch pipe in our example 0.273 meters and inside diameters will be 0.243 meters. We also know that the length of the pipe is 2 meters. Now let's write this information we found in the volume calculation formula. The volume 10 inch pipe in our example will be equals P multiply in brackets the squared 0.273 minus the squared 0.243 divided by 4 multiply 2 meters. Using the calculator, we find that the 3.14 multiply in brackets the squared 0.273 minus the squared 0.243 divided by 4 multiply 2 will be equals 0.0243. So, we calculated and found that the volume of the 10 inch pipe in our example will be equals 0.02 for 3 cube meters. Now let's look at the chart showing the density of iron material. In this chart, iron steel density 7850 kq cube meters is shown. Now let's write this information we found in the weight calculation formula. Weight equals volume 0.02 for 3 cube meters multiply the density of the material 7850 kq slash cube meters of the pipe. Using the calculator, we find that the 0.02 for 3 multiply 7850 will be equals 190. So, we calculated and found that the weight of the 10 inch pipe in our example will be equals 190 kilograms. Now let's calculate the weight of a 16-inch iron pipe with a wall thickness of 160 and a length of 5 meters. Since I know some of the calculations now, I won't repeat them and will move quickly. We will look row shown nominal pipe size 16-inch in the pipe size chart. From the pipe size chart, we find that the outer diameter of the 16-inch schedule 160 pipe is 406.4 millimeters and wall thickness is 40.49 millimeters. 
Then, the inside diameter will be equals the outside diameter 406.4 minus 2 times wall thickness 40.49. Using the calculator, we find that the 406.4 minus 2 times 40.49 will be equals approximately 325. So, we calculated and found that the inside diameter of the 16-inch schedule 160 pipe in our example will be equals 325 millimeters. These dimensions should be converted to meters also. Then, outside diameter of 16-inch pipe in our example 0.406 meters and inside diameters will be 0.325 meters. We also know that the length of the pipe is 5 meters. Now let's write this information we found in the volume calculation formula. The volume 16-inch pipe in our example will be equals 3.14 multiply in brackets the squared 0.406 minus the squared 0.325, divided by 4, multiply 5 meters. Using the calculator, we find that the 3.14 multiply, in brackets the squared 0.406, minus the squared 0.325, divided by 4, multiply 2, will be equals 0.2324. So, we calculated and found that the volume of the 16-inch pipe in our example will be equals 0.2324 cube meters. We already knew iron steel density is 7850 kq slash cube meters. Now let's write this information in the weight calculation formula. Weight equals volume 0 0.2324 cube meters multiply the density of the material 7850 kq slash cube meters of the pipe. Using the calculator, we find that the 0 0.2324 multiply 7850 will be equals 1824. So, we calculated and found that the weight of the 16-inch schedule 160 pipe in our example will be equals 1824 kilograms. Summarizing what we learned in this video, we can also use this formula to find the weight of the pipe. Weight is equal to P multiply in brackets the squared of outside diameter minus the squared inside diameter, divided by 4, multiply length of pipe and multiply density of pipe material. By using this method, you can easily calculate weight pipe pieces in the any pipe drawings. This education video is finishing here, your comments about video you can write in the comments section. By becoming a member of our channel, you can support our channel and benefit from some features. I would like to express my deep gratitude to our viewers who already have member to our channel. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I would like to express my thanks in advance to our viewers who write comments and likes. Thank you for watching see you on next video take care.